Welcome aboard. Walter here, and we're going to talk about the Buffett effect. What is the Buffett effect? And before I forget, if you'd like to learn more about the $1,000 account that we are ramping up to 100 grand, go click the link below this video or above this video and learn about the Small Account Big Profits course. So here's what we're going to do here. I'm, I'm going to show you a principle that I use in my trading. And although I'm not like, I don't follow Warren Buffett, I don't know a whole lot about the dude. I will tell you this. I think he's onto something. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Because what we what he does essentially is he buys things on the cheap and he waits for them to get expensive. But he waits for people to kind of realize, hey, that's a pretty good company. And by the time they realize it, he's already made a big pile of money. I'll never forget he took a trade in the Aussie dollar, my home currency, and it was unleveraged and it made a boatload of money. And all he did was just move a bunch of US dollars into Australia, wired it, literally wired it down. And then after a couple of years, year and a half, two years, he wired it back up and made a big pile of money just by going in cheap. Now, what he also did, you may know, is he bought Goldman Sachs sort of in the middle of the GFC when there was a big freak out. All these companies wanted him to swoop in and buy them. But the only one, as far as I know, that he bought, and again, I'm not, I don't like follow Warren Buffett or, you know, Berkshire Hathaway or anything like that. I just know a little bit about him because some of the traders in, in our private forum at Naked Forks Now have quoted him and stuff. And I thought, oh, that's, you know, he's got some really good quotes. Like one of his quotes is something along the lines of, hey, when um, the markets are designed, this one came from my friend Dennis. The markets are designed to take money from the impatient and give it to the patient, which is pretty cool when you think about it. And uh, this is exactly what happens, I think, when you look at the markets and see a trend. See, he bought Goldman Sachs when everyone was in freakout mode. And then later on, it looks like a really good investment. The same thing kind of going on with the markets. If you look at where the position, where the where the traders are all piled in, you can see everyone right here is selling the pound, buying the pound Aussie, uh, selling the pound yen, or buying the pound yen, uh, buying the pound Swiss, selling the Euro Aussie, Euro Kiwi, and so forth. I actually do the opposite. So in the small account big profits course, I basically do the opposite. You can see this account's currently holding $105 worth of winners, which is on a $459.72 account. But basically, what I do is like all those pairs I just showed you, New Zealand yen. Let's let's look, let's look at that. New Zealand yen. What's the New Zealand yen doing? Well, New Zealand yen, if you go down here, uh, oh, it's not actually on here. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> pound Aussie and pound New Zealand. New Zealand yen, I need to refresh. But pound Aussie, everyone's selling the pound Aussie. So what am I doing? I'm buying it. Uh, another one, pound yen. What is everyone doing with the pound yen? Well, they're actually buying the pound yen. So what am I, like 69% of the traders are actually buying pound yen. So what am I doing? I'm selling pound yen. Where is pound yen? Here it is. It's on the other account. This account's got $69 in open profit at the moment. And again, pound yen. Here's Here are the pound yen trades. You can see they're all up about 11 bucks. And I sold when everyone else was buying, just like Warren Buffett. Now, I'm not trying to copy Warren Buffett, but I, what I am trying to do is look at what the crowd is doing because I know the crowd likes to go against the trend. So let me share my screen so you can actually see it. That'll be a good idea. And you can see what's happening here. So here's Pound Swiss. Here's another one. 72% of our traders are buying Pound Swiss. So what do I do? I sell Pound Swiss. Pound Swiss isn't here. It's over here. Pound Swiss right here. There's there's the Pound Swiss trade. There's, there's basically three of them. Same thing with all of these, really. The Euro Aussie. This is a fresh trade. Just started, right? So Euro Aussie. What's everyone doing on the Euro Aussie? Well, pretty easy. If you go down and take a look, 89% of our traders are short Euro Aussie. So what am I? I'm long Euro Aussie. I'm going to buy Euro Aussie. And I like the idea of riding the bullish Euro Aussie trend boom like this sort of thing so this is it this is typical of what happens in the markets why people ask me to say why do you go against the crowd well the reason why is the crowd's always trying to figure out where should i 
catch the the uh, the falling knife. Where is that turning point? The crowd's always trying to find these spots on the chart where the market turns around right here and then falls. And so what's happening, for example, on the New Zealand yen, which is what you're looking at right here, all these traders are hoping that they can catch the bottom of the New Zealand yen, so they're all buying it. Meanwhile, I've been selling it, and you know this this nine dollars or ten dollars of risk is at up forty eight bucks right now. This is the kind of thing that really works, but it's hard, it's difficult for you to go against the the crowd. I don't think it is for you because you're a trader and you understand this. A lot of people though find it difficult to go against the crowd. They think it's a little bit scarier. They think, how can the crowd? How can the market go anywhere if there's no crowd behind it? Well, what really is happening is we're looking at retail traders and you can Google open position ratios, by the way. We'll use this in the small account big profits course. You can click the link below or above to get more information about that. But we'll we use this in the course and it's basically flagging the trends. That's it. When the market is trending, we know it is because all the traders are going the other way. So the stronger trends have even more or actually the we, or the pairs that a lot of traders don't trade. So if, like you look at the Aussie Singapore, okay, 96% of the, of the traders are long Aussie Singapore, right? Well, that's, you know, not not everyone really trades the Aussie Singapore. And, and I, I understand that. So, but the point is, if you, if you can find those markets, like I am buying the Euro Aussie, I'm buying the Euro, Euro, Euro Kiwi right now, and 89% and 84% of the market is short that. I've bought the pound Swiss and 72, sorry, sold the pound Swiss. 72% of the traders are long pound Swiss. I sold pound yen, as I mentioned. 69% of the traders are long. And I I bought the uh, pound Aussie and 79% of the traders are short pound Aussie and so forth. So it's, it's not really like rocket science. All we're really doing is figuring out what are all the traders doing? What side are they on? Okay, let's get on the opposite side. As long as the charts match up, you have to have both pieces. Traders are going one way, charts are going the other way, and then we hold on to these trades for as long as we can. You see this account's got, I don't know, one, two, three trade ideas up 74 bucks. This account over here has got uh, one uh, Euro Kiwi, Aussie Swiss, Aussie Yen, Aussie Pound Aussie, and New Zealand Yen. And these are all up 105 bucks or whatever at the moment. So that's that's basically what it, uh, what it comes down to. It's not difficult. You just let let the market show you where the trending markets are, and and let it rip basically. Uh, and you know, spread your risk out. Don't don't use the same. We don't use the same exact targets for all of the trades. So that you know, some trades are going to get big profits. Some are going to get a little bit less or whatever. That's all it is. It's just spreading out your risk and trying to diversify across brokers, across markets, and across systems. And that's basically it. So if you'd like to learn more, you can click the link below or above. I hope that this helps. Remember, the crowd is generally wrong. <laughs> that's the most important thing. And as a trader, you probably are pretty good at seeing that and knowing that. And you're probably contrarian by nature. Most traders are. I wish you happy trading. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.